Hello everyone, welcome to this video. Um, what I'll be showing you guys is how to create a back to the top button. I never know it. I don't know if you guys have ever seen um, one of those pages where you get to the bottom and there's a button that says back to the top and you can scroll all the way back up to the top of the page by clicking on that button. I'll show you guys how to do that. I've already set up the JavaScript and I run to the JavaScript and explain that out to you guys. Um, for beginners, you can always hang with me. I never assume you guys know um, the basics. I never assume that you guys are pro at this. So I always start from the basics up. Um, so anyway, I have a link to a, a, a Ajax J, jQuery file here, um, and from Google, um, then I create my own little function that was going to be firing from the jQuery file here. So I, I just said a a dollar sign document ready function. This would be the, the link to this page to download this page will be in the description. So no need to worry. I just want to run through and explain to you ready function. And we're going to link to a div tag. So I named this div tag here WRP. So and I'll show you why um, this is important. So it says href WRP. So it said link to a div tag with the name WRP. Basically, that's what that's saying. Click function. So it's, it's saying it's on the click function. So when they click on it, and it says um, it's setting up the body and the HTML document to be animated and scroll up. So it says animate scroll top. So it's scrolled to the top at a zero position. So it's going to go all the way back to the top and, and, a, and a Y value. And it's animating slow, return false. Okay, so let's set up the rest of this that we need to make this bad boy work. So I'm just going to create a div and I'm going to give it an ID of WRP because if you remember, we name it WRP here. So we have to name the div tag that we're targeting WRP. Now inside here, we can paste some text. And I'm going to grab some Lorem Ipsum text. Give me a second. So basically, I grab some Lorem Ipsum text and I put some break tags between. You guys can grab whatever text you want. It does not matter at all. So just to keep things a little bit tidy, I'm going to create a style tag and just kind of... Um, tidy up this wrap this WRP tag here so I'm gonna set width at say let's do 800 pixels and I'm not gonna mess with height I'm just gonna say margin left I'm gonna set that to auto and then margin right is get as well I'm going to set to auto also, meaning all that's doing is centering the div in to the page. So it's going to make it, it centered. So I'm going to do save as, I'll go to my desktop, and I'm going to do back top out, whatever. Um, I just save it as that. And I'm going to update no links. And then I'm going to open this up in Firefox. There we go. So basically that's what we have. We have pretty, oops, I forgot one part of this whole thing. Give me a second, guys. <laughs> we do need a link to fire off this function here. So below our div tag, uh, I didn't close something up here. Give me a minute. Okay, I see what I did. I forgot to close my style tag. That's why all my page content turned blue. So below this tag, we need we need to create a link to, to work this. So I'm gonna say, I'm just gonna do it in the, I'm just gonna create the center tag because I do need this button in the center just for the heck of this tutorial. And I'm gonna say to, to top, you know, you could, you could do whatever you like, it doesn't matter. And I'm gonna do a div, not a div, sorry, a, a tag, href, and then I'm going to link to dollar sign WRP because if you remember, we're linking to that div tag up top. Okay. And then I'm going to do file, save. Now, if we go back to Firefox and if we refresh this, I should now have a button at the bottom that says to top. Click on it. See, it animates all the way back to the top of this page and you can turn you can make this into a graphic you can do this into whatever you like it to be um, you can style the crap out of it and put it back to the top and you know it will work perfectly fine so there you go that works fine 
Um, just thought I'll show you guys. I'm pretty sure some of you probably be wondering how to code this out and just thought I'll just run this by you guys. All right, knowledge is power, keep coding. And if you guys have any questions, please give me a, uh, send me a message. I'll be more than happy to an answer you guys when I can. I can't answer every question, but I'll try to do my best to answer as much as I can. I'm out.